What's growing on, gardeners? It's Tuesday, January 21st, and today I wanted to talk about a very important concept, and that is watering your fruit trees or really any of your potted plants before a big freeze that threatens their hardiness rating. And while it looks like a very beautiful day today, it's actually the middle of the day and it's only 37 degrees out, which for any time of year here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina is very cold. We're about 15 degrees below average today. And we had a, a freeze last night of 27 degrees and we're supposed to get down to being even colder tonight. So I need to take preventative measures to protect my fig trees that you see here. And although we'll be talking about fig trees specifically in this video, you can apply these principles to any container tree. It doesn't even have to be a fruit tree. It can be something ornamental because these principles will apply to any container tree. When you grow trees in containers, they are going to be susceptible to damage from freeze much more than the exact same tree that is planted in the ground. And the reason why is because the roots are never as hardy to cold temperatures as the exposed hardwood is. Planting trees in containers is a very unnatural thing trees grow naturally in the ground. And the earth does two things to protect the roots of trees. First, the earth holds heat very well. The earth cools down at a tiny fraction of the speed of the air. The second thing is that the earth naturally protects against wind shear and desiccation. So because roots go underground, they are 100% shielded from the cold winds and the drying, desiccating effect of the cold winds. So the roots of trees have never needed to evolve the hardiness to cold that the exposed hardwood does. In the case of fig trees, the exposed hardwood is hardy to around 10 degrees or so Fahrenheit. And for very, very cold hardy varieties like Chicago hardy and other Mount Etna types, they can survive into the single digits and even to around zero degrees before mature lignified hardwood starts taking cold damage and starts seeing dieback. The roots, on the other hand, are a very different story, and fig roots have been documented to be killed in the upper teens. So once temperatures get to around 20 degrees or lower, the roots of the figs can get killed. And in normal circumstances, when fig trees are buried underground, that's probably not going to happen because in zone 7 and above, the ground is never going to drop below 20 degrees. It's just not going to happen. But when you have the figs or any other tree planted in a container, those roots will be exposed to the air temperature, which will cool much, much faster than the earth. So I'm in zone 8. And typically a fig tree would suffer no damage at all, even on our coldest nights, if it's planted in ground. But in a container, we're liable to drop to 10 to 15 degrees here, and that actually could kill back some of the roots if the temperatures last long enough at that low minimum. So this may seem counterintuitive to many of you, but one important thing to do is when you're facing cold temperatures, you always want to water in your container trees very, very well. You may be thinking to yourself, oh, why would I want to do that? The water will freeze. Well, it's actually quite the opposite effect that happens. Watering your container trees before a deep freeze has a two-pronged effect. Number one, water itself has a very high specific heat. And specific heat is a rating that is the ability for a medium to retain heat. Water retains heat very well, which is why the ocean doesn't freeze and the ocean cools off at a fraction of the speed that the surrounding landmass does. Oceans stay much much warmer during the winter than land does and that's because of the specific heat value of water. It retains its heat for a very long period of time. So when you water any of your container trees fresh before a freeze, that water is going to cool off much more slowly than the medium inside the pot. So that is one way that watering your container trees will add a degree of protection. The other reason why watering your trees right before a freeze will add a degree of protection 
is because you are increasing the density and the mass of the container itself. And increasing the density and the mass of your medium prior to a freeze will make it so it takes a much, much longer time for that medium to cool off. If you were to take two five-gallon buckets and fill them equally full of soil, the exact same soil mix, and then in one bucket you add a quart of water and in the other bucket you add two gallons of water guess which container will take longer to cool off obviously the container that contains more water because there will be more mass and a more dense medium and all of that medium in there retains heat and that heat in the denser more massive medium will take longer to cool off. So that's the advantage that we'll be able to give our potted trees. If we water them in very well, that water that we're adding will add more mass and more density so the cold air will cool down the roots at a much slower rate and in addition the water that we're adding will have a much higher specific heat value than the soil medium itself and will take longer to cool down. So your container trees will actually be much better protected if they're watered in very well prior to a freeze. So that's just a little bit of information that I wanted to give to you all. If you know a freeze is coming that may threaten the health of your tree and you're in a borderline hardiness zone, make sure that you water them in well. That will add an additional degree of protection to the roots, which is typically the most sensitive part of the tree. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about anything that I use in my garden, everything that I use is in the Amazon storefront linked in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again next time.